everybody, Patty from Bucky Ann's Creations, and I just wanted to show you, I got this coloring book, Thomas Kincaid Studios, all the Disney uh, movies and pictures, and like, this whole book is all the different scenes from different Disney movies, and it's Kincaid's, Kincaid's paintings on one side, and then you can color it on the other side. So I've started a few. Um, as you can see, I did a little bit of this one. Uh, I'm not sure if I did any more this way. Oh, I, I started to do this. I did just the frogs, which are over here. The frogs look really bright here now because they're surrounded by white, but once I put in the color, then they'll sort of blend in a little bit more like that. Um, but the one that I did finish was Mickey and Minnie on the first page. Let me bring this in a little bit. Um, I got it as close as I could to the original. You know, I couldn't get it exactly because there are black lines and I covered some of them and after I co covered them, in, colored them in. You now you can still see it, but like I did the best I could. You got to remember now, um, this was using oil paints, and it's a picture of oil painting. And then I used colored pencils, but I think it came out pretty good. I was pretty happy with the results. Um, well, like here, see, you can see the black lines around the flowers. And the flowers weren't exactly as they are here. Although I tried to make them as close as possible. A couple of things, say, this could have been darker. This all should have been in shadow. But once I, I made it light, it was kind of hard to keep going over and over it. Because you can't just color it once every section of this takes layer after layer after layer of different colors to try and get to these colors. So this actually took probably probably eight full hours. I didn't sit there and do it eight hours straight. I would do like maybe I, I started with doing just Mickey and Minnie and that probably took me like two hours just to do them. It took me another two hours just to do the rocks and the flowers over here. It took me another two hours just to do the sky. And then, you know, all up the sides. So yeah, it was about... About eight hours. I think for the next one, I'm going to actually time it just to see how long it takes me. So, that's this one done. Hold it up closer. You can see all the different things. It looks shiny. Whereas this side is dull because it's a picture. And this is actual. I used some of uh, the white spots. I used a little bit of white pencil, but then I started using a white gel pen to make it even brighter because it wasn't bright enough with just the white and I had to cover all the black lines I didn't leave the black lines in there I, I couldn't do it <laughs> I tried I really did I swear <laughs> but it started to drive me crazy so I had to fill in all the black lines um, on the shoes too and in a lot of places you'll see I covered, covered the black lines. In some places I didn't think it mattered. The mountains, I left some of the black lines and like I said, all the flowers. But I really enjoyed doing it. Um, I will be doing more of them. And I didn't record coloring this because I wasn't home. I was actually at the beach. And that's where I colored it. At the docks, really. So, for the next ones that I do, um, I will be doing it at home. Like I said, I started this one. And this alone took two hours. 
and as you can see it's far from done. I still have all of this. I, this rug alone took me over an hour. <laughs> and, it, and it seems like such a small little thing, but it's all these little tiny prints and designs. But I wanted to get it as close as possible. And I'm enjoying it. It's a, re it's a relaxing thing for me to do. So I hope you like it, and I hope you tune in to see me color the rest. I don't know how far in between the videos I'll be because I'm doing a lot of other projects. Like I said, I only do this on my downtime. Down so if you like it, please tune in to see the rest of them being colored, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.